conservation of forest and wildlife biodiversity biosphere is that part of the earth in which living organisms exist or which supports life biological diversity or biodiversity refers to the variety of organisms existing on the earth their interrelationships and their relationship with the environment preserving areas of biological importance makes them a part of our national heritage government agencies take care of the forest and animals the government lays down rules methods and policies to protect and conserve them wildlife sanctuaries national parks biosphere reserves etc are protected areas for conservation of plants and animals present in that area have you ever been to one protected areas to protect our flora and fauna and their habitats protected areas called sanctuaries national parks and biosphere reserves have been earmarked plantation cultivation grazing felling trees hunting and poaching are prohibited there sanctuary areas where animals are protected from any disturbance to them and their habitat national park these are areas reserved for wildlife where they can freely use the habitats and natural resources biosphere reserves large areas of protected land for conservation of wildlife plant and animal resources and traditional life of the tribals living in the area biosphere reserves biosphere reserves are the areas meant for conservation of biodiversity as you are aware that biodiversity is the variety of plants animals and microorganisms generally found in an area the biosphere reserves help to maintain the biodiversity and culture of that area a biosphere reserve may also contain other protected areas in it the panchmari biosphere reserve consists of one national park named satpura and two wildlife sanctuaries named bori and panchmari the plants and animals found in a particular area are termed flora and fauna of that area for example salt teak mango jamun silver ferns arjun etc are the flora and chinkara blue bull barking deer cheetal 
leopard wild dog wolf etc are examples of the fauna of the panchmari biosphere reserve wildlife sanctuary like reserve forests wildlife sanctuaries provide protection and suitable living conditions to wild animals sanctuaries are places where killing poaching or capturing of animals is strictly prohibited which is a good thing no well some of the threatened wildlife animals like black buck white eyed buck elephant golden cat pink headed duck gharial marsh crocodile python rhinoceros etc are protected and preserved in our wildlife sanctuaries indian sanctuaries have unique landscapes broad level forests mountain forests and bushlands in deltas of big rivers however it is a pity that even protected forests are not safe because people living in that neighborhood encroach upon them and destroy them national park reserves are large and diverse enough to protect whole sets of ecosystems they preserve flora fauna and landscape historic objects of an area satpura national park is the first reserve forest of india the finest indian teak is found in this forest rock shelters are also found inside the satpura national park these are evidences of prehistoric human in these jungles these give us an idea of the life of primitive people rock paintings are found in the shelters a total of 55 rock shelters have been identified in panchmari biosphere reserve project tiger was launched by the government to protect the tigers in our country the objective of this project was to ensure the survival and maintenance of the tiger population in our country forest conservation forests are important natural resources management of forests is a major task before the government and citizens of india forests provide us wood for various purposes the environment is disturbed when trees are cut down at such a rate that they cannot be replenished this affects the growth of numerous plants and migration of many animals due to lack of food and shelter a program known as silvi culture has been started to replenish forests it is estimated that forests are vanishing at the rate of 1.5 million hectares every year iucn which is the international union for conservation of nature and natural resources 
have created five categories for conservation. These categories are 1. Extinct 2. Endangered 3. Vulnerable 4. Rare and 5. Rarely known species IUCN has globally started publishing lists of plants and animals that are threatened and have also published the Red Data Book which gives information about threatened species of plants and animals. Flora and Fauna Plants of all the species found in a particular habitat or region are collectively referred to as flora. Similarly, the term fauna refers to animals. Our country has rich diversity of flora and fauna. We depend greatly on the flora and fauna of natural habitat as they constitute an important natural resource. The diversity of India's climate and topography is reflected in its rich flora and fauna. India is renowned for its tigers, elephants and rhinoceroses. The variety of wildlife one can see in India is truly astonishing. Amongst the smaller mammals are mongooses and giant squirrels. Cats include leopards, panthers, short-tailed jungle cats and beautiful leopard cats. India is blessed with over 2,000 species of birds. The diverse bird life of the forests include many as well as the elegant national bird, the peacock. The green belt supports some 15,000 species of plants. The thick tropical forests are seen in the eastern region of India, whereas the pine and coniferous woodlands are found in the western Himalayas. The cheer pine grows throughout the northwest Himalayas, while chilgoza or pine nut, oak, maple, etc. grow abundantly in the inner Himalayas, that is Kashmir. The tea plantations, rice fields and mulberry trees on which tussar silkworms are bred abound on the slopes of the Brahmaputra Valley.